Hello from Mexico, welcome back to our channel. Today is Sunday and we're doing a day in our life vlog, Sunday edition. We have a couple things to do. We have to finish up at the kindergarten as you guys saw in the last vlog. Fidel's washing the car. We have to go get Dominic some uh, new school clothes because his are a little small. So we're gonna upgrade his school clothes before he goes back this week. Um, and then we'll show you what else we've got going on for this Sunday. So if you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Let's go. Fidel washing the car. One of the S. <laughs> we are at the kindergarten. Um, <clears throat> Diego is playing soccer with his cousins at about 10 o'clock this morning, so he's not with us. It's just Dominic. But we're going to put together the yeah. desk. I know, do you see it? Yeah. There, she's doing such a good job, huh? Should I show them? Yeah. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm going to show you. Okay, here's where she is on the mural. There's wet days today also, so. But the mural's looking so good. Can I send them, Papa? Pa? Can I send them? Can I send them? Oh, too much help to go away, my amor. Uh-huh. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did he? While Fidel is cleaning outside, I'm building this desk. <laughs> okay, the maestra's new desk is all done. Um, this one has three drawers, but the reason that I chose it is because you can A, lock it, but you can lock all three of the drawers. So all of the drawers will lock. Um, just like her other desk, we'll top this off. It is temper, um, tempered glass, but we'll top it off and that just to keep it like extra protection. But there's the new desk. So now I'm gonna clean up because it's very dirty in here. I'm gonna clean up and then put her desk and everything where it goes and try and organize the class a little bit before we head out. And Fidel's over here. He is, uh, after they watered all the trees, now they're, um, now he's gonna clean the bathrooms because they needed to be cleaned before the kids come back. So we're gonna do that while we're here because we're already here. Basically set up, there's a couple things that need to be hung on the walls. So Fidel said, him and the workers would come um, tomorrow and do that. And they'll also take the whiteboard from the old classroom, which will now be the library, and install it in this new classroom on this wall over here. So we're all finished up at the school now. We're getting ready to go home. Fidel's just locking like the rest of the kindergarten up. Um, so I called my sister-in-law who already is at the Tianguis and she said that the uniform, the school uniform guy isn't there. So I'm gonna have to wait till next weekend for that which is fine. Um, I don't need to do grocery shopping and that. Uh, so we are thinking about maybe heading out to go see a movie, but we're not 100% sure yet. We're gonna take you guys back to the house with us. Um, I'm gonna try and get a couple things cleaned up there. We'll see if there's a movie playing that everybody's interested in seeing and maybe we'll go out um, to eat and see a movie and just enjoy the rest of our Sunday. So stay tuned. <laughs> These guys are out here cleaning up the street. That's what everybody's doing today. Getting all the confetti. <laughs> Even the primas are outside.
Okay, yet another change of plans. <laughs> so, um, we are not going to the movie. It's a little bit too late. We would get home really late, so we decided not to. Um, our power went out for a little while, so, um, but now it's back on, thankfully. It wasn't out for very long. Um, but we were able to get, like, the house picked up. Um, you guys saw the procession that passed by, so that was nice. Um, and now we're going to go and get some carne molida or some ground beef so that we can do taco salads and nachos tonight. We're going to find a movie here at home. I'm going to show you guys um, some, like an unboxing of what my sister sent uh, because it's like a mix of things that I ordered for her to send and then some hand-me-down stuff for my pregnancy. So I'm going to show you guys that as well. But one of the things that she got was, or that she sent was a popcorn maker. So we're going to make some popcorn and watch a movie tonight. So um, we're going to take you guys with us to go and just grab some ground beef and then we're going to kind of come back home. Um, we're going to make everything so that we can do our taco salads and that a little bit early and then we'll decide on a movie and, and make popcorn um, so we can have like a little movie night at home. All right, there goes Fidel to get the uh, <laughs> carne molida. Um, I'm not going because I'm on sleeping Dominic duty. I don't get to go. Also, Diego stayed to keep me company. Hi, Diego. All right, ground beef secured. Now we're heading back home so we can make some taco salads. We're back home now. Um, Dominic is finishing up his donut before he goes to play outside. And I am cooking the ground beef. Right now, I'm just gonna cook it with some taco seasoning. And then we just have like toppings and stuff. So the boys don't want a salad, they'll do nachos, but Fidel and I will do salads. I'll show you guys how we do that. Um, Fidel has got to run down to the house site to check on everything. Okay. Yes, now you can go play outside. <laughs> and Dominic's gonna go play outside. Nobody is ready to start eating yet, so. <laughs> Um, I thought before I sat down to do emails, answer emails from you guys, that I would show you um, some of the stuff that my sister sent to me from the States. So what I did was I ordered some things on Amazon that I knew I was going to need for the baby and things like that, or well, for birth, basically. I won't start getting baby stuff until we know the gender, so not for a couple more weeks. But um, she sent me some stuff, some of it's hand-me-down and that. Um, but I thought I would share with you guys. We also got two things from two different companies. Diego got something and I got something. So let me show you what came in the package. Oh, and um, she sent two boxes. One box was about 50 pounds and it is all books. Books that we were able to get um, through eBay. And they're all books for the kindergarten's library. So I have that whole box, but I'm not going to show those yet until we start um, organizing them for the library. But let me show you the other stuff that, <laughs> that I had her send down. This was something that a company sent. It is a single serve iced and hot coffee maker. I don't have a coffee maker. So when they reached out, I said, yeah, send it to me. I'll try it out. And then, you know, I'll do a video on it and I'll let everybody know what I think. <laughs> um, I got tux pads. If you know, you know, if you've had a baby, you know, um, but I can't ever find these down here. I couldn't find them when I had Dominic. So I had her send some this time. Um, I got some maternity, like breastfeeding bras, um, just because I know how incredibly handy those are. Um, I ordered some dill pickle seasoning. I don't know why it won't. Oh, I see. Cause it's like focused on the pump, but I got dill pickle seasoning. Um, this was my sister's. She, my sister is done having kids. My Niece is almost done breastfeeding. Like she's basically at the end of it. So my sister down, sent down her Spectra. Um, and then of course she sent the stuff that goes with it. So super, super helpful. Thank you, Nicole. That was like the one thing that I was the most excited about was a pump. Um, I found a robe for the hospital. She sent me these, which were both my nephews and my nieces. So these are definitely hand-me-downs. Um, these are like sleep swaddle things. Um, it does have like a, let me unzip it. 
So it just looks like a sack, but I don't know how everybody does it, but my kids love to be swaddled. So this has like um, Velcro inside. You can swaddle them in it and then zip it up. And you can also like have their arms out if you want. She sent me two of those. This is what Diego was sent. This company sent Diego some chopsticks. So these are a set of chopsticks for two. And then this is a ramen bowl with its own matching chopsticks. I put a bunch of plastic in it though, um, just so that like nothing happened to it. But like, these are the chopsticks. They're so nice. They reached out and said they were interested in, interested in sending this. And so when they did, um, I agreed because I knew Diego would really like it. And he's so excited about them. Next thing my sister sent was one of those nets that you connect to the wall to put stuffed animals in. Um, because I told her I really needed one for Dominic and she had one that, um, she had like an extra one that she wasn't using in, I think my nephew's room anymore. She got like a bean bag that, that you put their stuffed animals in. So she sent me this. And then she also had a popcorn maker that she never uses. <laughs> so she sent the popcorn maker because I told her that we go through a lot of popcorn. So it basically is like brand new. She basically never used it, but I'm, me and the boys are really, really excited about this. Not only did she send the popcorn maker, but she also sent us some of these, um, like flavorings for the popcorn, um, a full size dill. If you guys can't tell both me and Diego love dill pickle anything. So she sent a big one of this, but she also sent like, just like an assortment of them to try, which I thought was really, really cool. So this is what we're going to try out tonight is this, um, popcorn maker. So excited about that, but there's a look at the stuff that like my sister sent down. I also got some maternity leggings and a couple maternity tops. I had her send those down. You guys will see me wearing those now. I'm not really showing yet, but I am to the point where like my clothes around my stomach are fitting tight and they're uncomfortable. So I'm in those. And this is actually the earliest I've ever been in any kind of maternity clothes, but this is everything that I, that both I got and that she sent down, which is amazing. So shout out to my little sister for always being awesome. And, um, we'll have Diego do a video about these for you guys. And then if I use the coffee maker and I like it, I'm, even though I'm on decaf right now, if I use this and I like it, I'll also do a video about it, but just know that if I use it and I don't like it, I won't do a video on it only because I, um, I don't ever want to do like negative reviews about something, but I also won't be dishonest, um, about a product that I use. So I'll let you guys, you'll see, you'll see a video on this if, if we like it and think it's a good product. Now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to answer some emails from you guys for probably one or two hours because I didn't get to do any yesterday. And, um, and then I'll pick this back up once we start eating and we make our popcorn for movie night. Okay. So I was able to get everything basically prepped for nachos. Um, I am heating up, sorry, my tablecloth is like super stained. Um, <laughs> anyway, I am heating up the carne molida on the stove right now and the beans. But other than that, this is what we've got. We usually, the boys will put it on like the cheese and that on their chips and then heat it up and then finish with toppings. Um, this is for my salad. I don't know if it was going to do nachos or a salad, but we'll see. We'll see what he decides. Also, it is currently dark in my kitchen because my light bulb went out. And before any of you were like, why don't you just change the light bulb? I would love to do that. However, um, these are like circle insert lights that you have to connect directly to the cables. I do know how to do it, but I don't have any currently in my house, which means I'm going to have to go get one tomorrow. So until tomorrow, I have no light in my kitchen and I've got to rely on the lights, other lights in my house. So no big deal, but kitchen light gone for tonight. <laughs> All right. Here's Dominic's nachos. You put it in your guacamole. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the best way to do it. Diego's getting ready to heat his up. And then he'll put the other toppings on. <laughs> here's Diego's. Um, the only thing I'm missing is the olives. So I'm going to get those out. And then here's my taco salad. Um, I'm just going to put some ranch on it and then olives and mine will be done as well. And then Diego and I uh, find paste salsa to be nostalgic. So we use that sometimes also. I want salad. You want salad? Yeah. Oh, okay. I want salad. 
Okay. Oh, olives. Okay, I'm gonna get them right now. We're all headed to bed. We're pretty exhausted. Dominic's sleeping up with me tonight. Um, he goes back to school tomorrow. We didn't end up doing the popcorn. Nobody wanted popcorn in that um, once we were done with dinner. So we'll probably try and do that tomorrow instead. But it's pretty late. It's about nine o'clock. So we're all gonna go to bed um, so that we can be ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. But as always, we really appreciate you guys being here. We hope that everybody enjoyed this vlog. We hope that everybody had a great weekend. And we'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye, guys.